morning everybody, good morning. Now you'll see in the last video, we picked up this S13 and it is, uh, it is, is, is broken. Uh, I'll use a better word but YouTube doesn't like it, but it's broken. The engine is in absolute bits, I bought it like that. I have no idea if it's running, no evidence of it running. Um, and basically I'm just going off this guy's word that it does run and it is just a head gasket. Now, he started the head gasket so a third of it has already been done. I'm missing parts, bolts are everywhere, missing a, um, we're, missing a, we're missing a lot of bits, we'll get into it. So today, we're going to start taking the head off the car. I've never worked on any of these engines before in my life. Uh, all I know is that it was overheating and he started to remove all the engine. Why he stopped midway through, I have no idea. Yes, it's rather worrying, but nonetheless, let's just jump in and let's just try and remove the head of this CA18. S13. So here is how I bought the engine. So if you can see, we've got the uh, rock cover gaskets are just the rock covers are loose. Um, all the wiring's unplugged. If, luckily enough, the exhaust side is off. Well, I say luckily enough, but that that's a bit of an arsehole of a job. That is to be fair. So the exhaust and the turbo are just dangling off, which is okay because exhaust bolts are usually an absolute nightmare. As you can see, all the timing is off. It's not the end of the world because it is an old school engine so it's not going to be the hardest to time by hand uh, but if you look at something missing here for everyone who's had a ca 18 you should see a backing plate now it's a black backing plate which bolts against the engine and that's got the timing gear marked on it so the timing marks you know how to time it and that stops the belt falling off i don't have it i, I it's, it's just not come with the car and i also don't have a water pump puller here which isn't the end of the world because that goes on like last with like not the timing belt it goes on with the belt at the front so it's not the end of the world but i don't know if we're going to find any horrible stuff so i've been told to take off the inlet manifold with the head because if you try and take off the inlet manifold on the car it's impossible to get underneath so i need to take the man the head off with the inlet manifold and then remove the inlet manifold because we need to go and get the head skimmed as well so Let's just start removing anything that attaches the inlet manifold to the car. Alright, so here it is guys. I've took a picture of it as it is so I can somewhat have some sort of reference back to it. I've no idea what this is here with the two prongs. <laughs> Honestly, I can't believe so. I'm just going to start pulling things off. Pull the intercooler piping out of the way, get the radiator pipes off the way. It doesn't look like there's too many things, um, but definitely enough to... Uh, to get confused so again i'm going to take a load of pictures of everything so i'm just working my way back from the front to the back so removing any so i've took the intercooler piping off radiator pipe i'm just going back and just trying to remove back all the wiring and as i'm getting caught on something remove it and remembering where it goes and if it's something that i think i'll forget taking a picture but the wiring is pretty self-explanatory because it just it does take its own sort of path uh, and most sensors sit where they need to be so it's not too difficult so far so with most of that wiring off, that's a big chunk of like weight just out of the way, you know? Uh, so we've got a little little thing down there, so I'm going to take a picture of that as well because that's something I could easily miss, but that's most of the wiring out of the way. So this is what it looks like now, guys. I've just started to pull the fuel lines off from the uh, from the rail. I'm not, the hardest thing is I'm not entirely sure what comes off with the intake. Um, it's really hard to see. It looks like I'm going to bring the uh, manifold um with the with, with the fuel rail on i don't think i can get the fuel rail off with the with the inlet still on. no doubt i'll try and pull the head off and something will be snagging but as long as i take my time uh, it should be okay so now we've got this thing off here that the got all the coolant going through it you can actually feel underneath the intake to see what is dragging and all it feels like is this last pipe down here little one you probably won't be able to see it and then it looks like that's everything that attaches the intake to the uh, head, meaning we can pull it all off. So it's a tiny little seven mil right at the back here. This is probably the most awkward position thing I've, uh, I've done so far. Right, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure I've got everything away from the intake. Um, so now it's time to take the cam covers off and start removing the cam shafts and then take the head off. One worrying thing is that you, we have a braided line at the back here. See the braided line? That goes into the turbo. I'm 99% sure it goes into the turbo. So why does it come to a silicon pipe and then just push on to the intake? But it comes up as a braided line and then into a, 
which you think would be a high pressure so either like oil mainly if it's a banjo bolt um, but then it just pops onto the inlet manifold so I mean, I'm not sure what's going on there maybe it's some sort of oil breather I, I, maybe it is a breather I don't know but I'm going to have to ask Jake that is very confusing get these out of the way for now then so luckily enough they're quite clean in there um, it's not full of shit here we go so we're going to take off the uh, I need to take out the spark plugs to be fair actually there was only three plugs there was for some reason there wasn't a spark plug in the back one I'm going to I'm just going to see if a new one will thread in uh, just to, to make sure that you know okay that's threading in okay cool they actually look new which could be a worry inside because someone's obviously put a new set of spark plugs in and it hasn't fixed their problem clearly okay so now we're going to remove the cams now we need to be careful doing this because we definitely don't just want to just take this ones off and take these ones off and take the ones off because there's a chance you could bend something or because these are down tight um, and they're under a lot of pressure so we're going to go out in so a little bit 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 then do like three whole rotations to evenly bring it out okay so it looks like a 40 like a 12 mil maybe so 10 mil so not gonna be that tight 10 mil nice and evenly all right so i think i'll get my 3.8 for this i was going to use the half inch but i don't think i'm gonna get in here a little bit make it easier so we're gonna do the intake side first so a little bit a little bit a little bit a little bit just bring them out evenly and we're gonna line them up as they came out now it comes should just push it out so we have got another spare seal here uh, this one looks in good condition but we are going to change them obviously comes out too but they've got a little bit of wear a little bit of heat but they're actually smooth what you want to be looking for in a cam really is any scoring or pitting um so this this has been through some heat cycles as you can see here and stuff but this is actually okay to be fair i actually don't know how many miles are on this engine uh, we assume or we think or he thinks that um it's had different engine in at some point for drifting and then this one's been put back in so let's just do the same to this side and then we can start taking the head off okay so here is the engine so far so there is the head which is a I think it's a big hex key. I hope I've got the right size. If not, I'll have to nip to Halfords and get one. I think it's like it's also like a 10 mil hex or something. It's quite a big hex. Uh, and I've seen online that there should be 10 of them, five in each side. So yeah, let's go. Guys, something really interesting and really worrying is happening right now. I've gone to take out now. I've gone to take out these head bolts, and half of them are not even fucking tight. Like that one's tight this one is literally look like like look like it's literally not even tight like look i've literally just got a head bolt out there same with this one that one's tight <laughs> that one's tight i don't know whether this guy has just been running it and it's just not been tight the head the head's not been tight because then cams weren't loose i mean maybe, maybe i'm looking at from a positive maybe i'm looking at a negative someone's took the head off thought fucking you know, hell that's fucked get the head back on <laughs> or the threads are fucked or someone's just forgot to tighten two head bolts when they put the engine back together let's just see if these are getting a thread oh they do tighten oh that's good that's good news <laughs> mate if someone has just forgot to put these two fucking head bolts loose i swear down <laughs> Well, let's just take them all off, get the head off, and inspect the engine anyway. So anyway, we're, we're going to do it properly. We're going to take one sequence. So we're going to go bang, 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 and then work, work our way in. But yeah, I think I will need to break a bar actually. So that's so strange. Honestly, that is really, really, really strange. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to do a little bit of time. Yeah. Get them out in a nice sequence. That one felt nicer. These aren't stretch bolts, so I technically can reuse these bolts, but I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna get, especially since some of them aren't tight, I'm just gonna get a, uh, a fresh set of Nissan ones. A head bolt, ladies and gentlemen. 
that's all out the way there's probably going to be some coolant in the head like the head is rocking now look so that's ready to come off doesn't look like anything's snagging so it should oh sorry i'm missing one bolt there get this last head bolt out oh you fuck stop teasing me bro let's pull this head off we can actually get it mate this is good timing like we're We've only done this like two hours and the head's coming off so so far so good all right let's go all right now is that on that bracket i don't know if this is on the bracket or not it doesn't look like it is why is it moving with the head oh wait it's right i've got to get this back off the back give us two sec guys no joke the hardest thing of the whole thing so far is just getting this stupid little 10 mil bottle of a stupid bracket right let's pull this head off i think we're good there oh we're good are we good are we good yeah we're good oh you can oh you can you can put all the water in that as well that's not good oh shit the hair gasket is bollocksed oh yeah there it is oh my god yeah it's fucked this, yeah, the, the gasket's bollocks, guys. <laughs> Look at all here. All the oil there. Oh no, guys, I think, I think it's worse than I thought. I think somehow got, had something in piston number four. Uh, it feels like a, like a, a spark plug cracked in there or something. Maybe like a little bit of plastic. So, something has got in uh, cylinder number four. I'll try and get in there now and show you. There, there's like some little tiny indentations on the piston. I'll try and get in and I'll show you. And even on the head, you can kind of see where it's... See there? It's that piston. There's that piston. I think it's uh, a lot worse. I think guys you see in there let me get a light see in the right hand side of the piston I think something's crapped in there right I've put this piston to uh, top dead and you can see the damage there I don't know what's got in there but something's got in there and it's fuck, well fuck the piston really fuck the piston and it's fucked the top of the head as well uh, now I'm not an engine builder I don't know if that's really bad or if it's gonna or if it's gonna be fine I think that's really bad <laughs> from looking at it I think that's really bad um, I'm probably gonna ring someone who takes part engines now and see what they think take all pictures but yeah it's not looking good guys Right, there is only one man to ask and that is Simon Norton I'm gonna send him a few pictures of the I'm gonna send a picture of the head picture of the top piston and a picture of the bore he's the only man who will know a Simon Norton if you don't know him he he's a very 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 huge genius in evos and anything really and he always always helps out every time I've got a question so I'm gonna send him them pictures let's see what he says <laughs> Oh my god, if I need a new engine, I'm going to be fuming. But at least I'm halfway there, and it's content. Who cares? So let's see what Simon says, and we'll just go from there. Simon says. <laughs> okay, guys, so what's the verdict? He still hasn't replied, so I think it's going to be a great time to end the video here. And you can find out in the next episode of if we need a new engine or if we can fix it, basically. So I'm going to let him take time to have a look at the photos and give me a ring and in the next episode we'll go over what the hell we're going to be doing next because I have no idea where we stand right now so thanks so much everyone I hope you enjoy this I love you all and we'll see you in the next one